Hello and welcome back. This is Nom Nom and once again we are in Oxygen Not Included. We're back in the Iridio map, the oppressive heat challenge, at the beginning of cycle 35. Today we're going to play through about three cycles of this map in the early game. Alright, let's get into it. I was thinking of building a fire pole here, but uh, hopefully we're going to be done down here soon. And we won't be so worried about how often we come down here. Uh, you know, I say that, but then what's going to happen is I'm going to want to come down here all the time. So I'm just going to build it. Odds are I'm going to be pitcher pumping from down here. Maybe I'll continue this descent. We'll just go ahead and do that. Finish that up and then do that. And a bunch of sopping white dupes. And a ton of oxygen. Usually this is over pressure, but it wasn't saying over pressure, it just said it was emitting. Now it looks like it's actually emitting steam. Yeah, I should have done that a long time ago. I'm not sure where the sour gas came from. Maybe it was inside that area the whole time. But that'll be a treat to deal with. I've actually got a bunch of gases I don't really want. I've got chlorine, sour gas. I'll pipe it into a container later. Maybe we'll get one of these gas reservoirs and gas filter and get rid of it. Alright, whoops. I can stop putting salt water in there now since clearly it's <laughs> flooded my thermoregulator. Whoops. Pip squeak. It's a baby pip curled up in a little ball sleeping on the side of the wall. I did not know that was a thing that they did. He looked like an egg. Oh my god! That is so adorable. I love the baby Pip. Alright, how about you guys? Have you planted anything? You have not. Why not? That is frustrating. Just those two mule wood. I know they were trying to make it harder for you to take advantage of the free stuff, but now it seems like pips are useless. Well, we'll let it ride. Maybe they only plant one seed in their lifetime. I don't know. I do not know. Oh my god, he's so cute. Hello, salt plant seed. Oh, what do you take, though, besides chlorine? Growth requirements. Sand. 4,000... 4K? 4K sand a cycle? That's a lot. Oh, I do have a lot, though. Alright, I'm going to try and get rid of some of this chlorine. We'll see how it works. Maybe it was just in that bottom left corner that was the problem. I don't know. This should, this water should flow out and eventually go there. And there's still 2k here, so probably be close to 2k. Uh, a little over 2k when it finally spills over there. So we'll see. It is at almost 36 degrees. Still going. Ice maker, 30 kilograms of ice. 
Ah, and I have 270 kilograms of ice in the box. All right, 300 kilograms of ice in the box. Now, a temperature shift plate, if I ever want to get around to making one of those, I think it's 800, yeah. So, quite a bit of ice yet to make. All right, this guy is good. I am going to make some really unhappy dupes, though. Because I am going to have them go swimming in really warm water. It's not scalding, per se, as in the warning isn't saying scalding, but they're clearly unhappy about it. All right, phosphorite, which I have a lot of down here, melts at 243. Okay, this water should never get over 100, so that's okay. I feel like it used to have a lower melting point. And I think he has toasty surroundings. Heat stroke. Yep, congratulations, Harold. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Skills, Catalina. Improved carrying. Keep up the good work. We have a new achievement. Some reservations. Improve duplicate morale by designating four areas as a nature reserve. Four areas? I certainly didn't do four. I've done one. Huh. I don't think that part of the system is working as designed. Salt. Yay, copy settings. Come on, salt thingy. <laughs> salt. What is it called? Salt plant? Eh. I, I guess I expected it to have a cooler name. Come on, salt plant. You can do it. Soak up that chlorine. See what it says. Oh, dash of salt vine. Yeah, see, it has a cooler name. Consume a small amount of chlorine gas and form sodium deposits as they grow, producing harvestable salt. All right, all right. Keep up the good work. It's like flashing in and out of chlorine. Huh. Maybe an airflow tile. Let the little bit of gas we don't want out. Oh, I missed the printing pod. Ding. Puffedlets. I'll take the blossom seeds. Oh no. I left the egg in there for too long. Whoops. Sorry, little hatchling egg. You turned into so much raw egg. Ha <laughs> ha. Tee hee hee. Just murdering the hatchling eggs. Alright, well thankfully this thing's still running. Um, it is... Bringing down the base temp, but oh so slowly. And holy sarsaparilla. Catalina is idle. I run out of tasks. All right, that's good. We'll research. Go back to distillation for now. That should give them something to do. All right, well, we're wrapping up cycle 39. So at the beginning of cycle 40 here, top of the day, we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. All right, so far so good. Uh, we have a crude cooling loop that is unfortunately not using hydrogen, but it is keeping these mealwood cool enough and these mealwood cool enough to grow. The pips are not cooperating at all. In fact, I think, <laughs> all right. So I had some seeds in here and it looks like they got sweeped up, but that's, <laughs> that's fine. My containers are all full. I'm actually going to tell my containers that they can't carry seeds. Actually, I'm going to tell them they can carry everything except critter eggs, liquefiable, and seeds. Copy those settings. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and plan to put some more seeds down here. So they've only planted those two and they've had like 15 cycles to do it and those just got sweeped up recently, those other seeds, but we're gonna try this again. The fungal spore, he is good. Let's see, mushroom. Hmm, not food, I want plants. The dusk cap, there we go. Grown from the fungal spore. He can take temperatures up to 35 degrees. So, and he wants to grow in CO2. So he can actually grow down here. I might throw some fungal spore. It's a little warmer over here. Throw some fungal spore down here somewhere in the CO2 and see if I can't bolster my food production. This can handle a little more heat. So we'll, uh, we'll plan that out for next time as well. Over here, I'm ready to drop another pip and try and grow some more food. In fact, I'll go ahead and say pip. And I will go ahead and wrangle a single pip. And that will happen in the next episode of Oxygen Not Included. This has been Nom Nom. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, please like and subscribe to my channel. Alright, take care. Nom nom, signing out.